on your, your first win, you know, Greenwich, how was that today? Ah, uh, I'll, I'll take it. That's, uh, that's my thought. I mean, it wasn't, it wasn't pretty. Um, you know, we got to do, we got to make a lot of, we made a lot of stupid mistakes, a lot of stupid penalties and, and situations where we just can't take them. And, uh, you know, I thought Trinity did a great job. You know, Donnie does such a great job now with uh, Richie and uh, Cairo over there too. It really makes their staff, you know, very rare in the state of Connecticut. They have a lot of guys over there that can do some things and their, their receiver's incredible. So, um, they got some weapons. They're a good football team. They're good. We just we just made too many mistakes, and uh, we we almost made it a little easy for them at times. But I give a lot of credit to them. You guys made some big plays in some key spots too. I mean, the, you know, Luke getting the the first down, the fourth yeah. down, and yeah. then the touchdown right after that, and then obviously Connor getting the two picks. And you guys made some clutch spots. You know, just your thoughts on that? Yeah, no, our, our kids. You know, when when they focused in and they knew their assignment, they were good. We had a lot of blown coverages offensively too. Just the stupid holding penalties that get us kicked back. I mean, we were our own worst enemy at times in this game. Uh, but I'm really proud of them. I mean, they, they, they fought their butts off until the end. I mean, there's, they, they faced adversity, and they stared it back down in the fourth quarter, and I give a lot of credit to our guys. They really did fight. I think everybody was t thinking it was going to be Air Marinelli today. I mean, it was Trinity that was throwing the long balls. You were, uh, you know, fairly conservative in picking your moments. <laughs> uh, yeah, you know, I mean, everyone thinks that we just like to throw it deep. Uh, but, you know, there's this offensive scheme involved. And we felt like we can come in here and run the football. I think our offensive line did a great job. Our running backs, we have a lot by committee um, that, can, that can chew up some grass and, and do some things. So we felt like our advantage in this game was on up front. And uh, so we want to take advantage of it. And there was really a, never a point in the game where we had to throw it deep. You know, we were always in a comfortable moment, so or we were always in a comfortable spot. So, do you that, think that your offensive line was able to tire? I mean, uh, was able to tire out? Oh yeah, defense? yeah, they were dead. Um, and we and we did uh, those guys up front did such a great job today, just opening the lanes. We just got to be smarter. Um, we just got to be smarter. You know, you can't you can't give up 38 points and expect to win a lot of games. Um, so, but they do they do some things on offense that were you know, some blown coverages, and it's credit to them. They formationed us to death, and they did a great job of it. You've seen some pretty wild offensive displays in your coaching career. That second quarter, have you ever seen anything like that? Uh, no, that was pretty wild. I mean, just back and forth. And, uh, yeah, I, I, again, I, I credit our kids. They really hung in there and they fought. Um, you know, the biggest thing for me was you can't go in at, at halftime up 14 and then and let them climb back like that. You know, we've, we've got to learn how to finish games. And uh, in the fourth quarter, we did that. We had a big defensive stop that came up for us. So. I guess you're not going to forget win number one for several, for many reasons. No, 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 not at all. This is this is nice, and uh, credit to my kids, and they did such a great job. So.